Hello and welcome to Stories Around the Fire. Tonight's guest is Alfonso Apodaca, who is a Dallas artist who specializes in medical illustrations, murals, hyper-realistic pieces, and much more. He has produced artwork and graphic design for bands, hospitals, collectors, even city departments. He has his own studio, Legendary Art Studio, and has worked with a deep Elm art company and been featured in many Dallas galleries. He is continuously creating and sharing his work with the world, and we'll talk to him tonight about what he's been up to and his creative process. So I'm going to connect with him right now, and we'll get him on here. There we go. Hello. Hello. Hi, sorry, my camera is doing something crazy. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank <gasps> you. Oh Ooh, my what goodness, happened? Mark. <laughs> well, that's fun. Let me see, I'm sorry. Ooh. There's yes. some light. There you go. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. That's okay. I'll just be in the dark. Let's see. This is. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I'll just jump right in, if that's all right with you. Yeah, go for it. Um, how long have you been doing art? Um, I basically started, I guess, when I was four. Oh, wow. And I guess it dropped off at some point in my life until even through, um, I guess, high school. I wasn't really into it. But uh, I think mainly um, after high school, college, I got back into it and really got back into it, I guess, about seven years ago. Oh, really? Like hardcore. Yeah. I mean, I did medical illustration. That's my profession. But um, outside of that, that's all I was doing. Wow. I mean, that's yeah. a big thing, though, yeah? I'm sorry? That's a pretty big thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful illustration. To have it's to pretty be, fun. like, super accurate, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. It can be crazy. It's hard to go back and forth from your right side to your left side. Right. From being so technical to being so loose. Right. So the, and that's why I do so many different uh, types, like spray painting or right. uh, yeah, or just yeah. painting different drawings. I try to, I don't know, venture out as much as possible to keep yeah. the balance. Yeah, I think that's pretty amazing, like, being able to do that. I kind of feel like most of the time it's like one way or the other, you know? Very much so. Yeah. So how did you decide to get into medical illustration? I got lucky, actually. Really? Yeah, after I basically graduated, um, a friend of mine was a photographer, and he worked for a company here in Dallas, which there's not many companies. Um, and basically, he just said, send my portfolio in as soon as possible. And I got hired. And I've been there about 19 years now. Wow. So yeah, it's, 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 a, it's led to a lot of great things. I've done stuff for like HBO, uh, Terminator, The Last Salvation. Um, when I first started there, I was with the, I think, three guys that we did the um, drawings and surgeries for the Egyptian twins, the Siamese twins, the separation. Wow. So that was pretty neat. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a lot of big stuff. Do you ever feel like a lot of pressure in that situation? No, I actually don't. It's pretty natural, which is kind of nice. Yeah. I love my job. There's there's no doubt about that. When you get you get the draw all day. So, yeah, and, and play with a lot of cool software as well. So, right, yeah, and I guess that takes like a lot of knowledge, like to know, you know, even if maybe you didn't know at first, now you probably have a lot of knowledge about the body, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, for that's sure. 
So you also do like murals, right? Yeah, I got into that with uh, Preston Panic and his girlfriend, Adrian. Um, they kind of put me under their wing and taught me a lot techniques. Um, I painted with like Isaac, some of the Davy brothers. Um, mm -hmm. And that's been, it's been like, it's been real neat. I think I've done, I haven't collaborated with anybody, but I think I've done maybe seven or eight with Preston and Adrian all through Deep Elm right. and Fort Worth. So that was pretty cool. It's been very cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So are they, are there somewhere, is there somewhere where people can like see the stuff that you've worked on? Uh, so my stuff, like, well, I mean, most of the stuff I've worked with has been with Preston and Adrian. And uh, it's all through Deep Elm, like at oh. the Arco, a lot of the stuff's at the Arco and just up and down Maine and Commerce. Wow. That's at the Lash crazy. Law. Yeah. Yeah. So for the larger pieces, what goes into like the planning process for that? You know what? Unless the, if the client just gives me the free for all, I kind of just wing it. They really? kind of give me an idea of what they want and I just mm -hmm. go with it. I kind of just put my headphones on and go with the music. Wow. Yeah. But wow. if it's something a client wants, then of course you have to do a contract and layout and show them kind of a draft to see what they think. Yeah. <clears throat> That's so cool. What about for like the smaller, like the hyper realism, like the things that you create there, what kind of planning goes into that? Oh, um, I guess sometimes <laughs> photo shoots, depending if I want to do a model or building or just a still picture. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, that takes, I don't know, maybe a nine by 12 drawing takes probably a week, sometimes oh. less. Yeah, cause you'd usually either do grid, but even though like you're doing a spot like maybe this big and it could take an hour just getting the shade cause you're just manipulating and making movements, right. kind of brush pushing it. Right, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Like, you know, for the the process is like reverse for the pipe, you know, like the mural, you're just kind of like free with it. And then see, and that's why I do that, because I'm free with it. Like at work, mm -hmm. even with medical illustration, we usually have a proposal. We have to go through op reports, MRIs, CTs. So we yeah. go through that process and then create the drawing for the juries. Sounds so. very detailed, a little bit complicated. So how often do you create? Is it like a daily thing, weekly? Uh, do try to do daily. Yeah. Yeah. Try to keep, I don't know, exercising. Sometimes I get a, what's the word? I guess a trigger finger because I'm not doing it. It's really, oh, yeah. Especially with like spray paint. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I need to go spray paint. Just the smell of it. It's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do some graffiti. No. <laughs> Um, so having the experience that you have, um, what piece of advice or multiple pieces would you give to like up and coming artists that wanted to do something where they make money, they enjoy their career, they still want to do artistic stuff? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, uh. I don't know. I'm kind of speechless on that. There's tons of things you can do. Uh, I guess one, don't, don't be afraid. Don't cut yourself short when you're pricing stuff, especially, you know, uh, you know, think about the value, your value. Right. Mainly, but don't be afraid either. I mean, it never hurts to tell them the ask. Right. So. Yeah. And I know, like, you're connected to a lot of other artists. Do you think, like, networking is a super important thing? Oh, it is. It Very much so. Very much. And, yeah, I am connected to a lot of artists. It's crazy. It's a pretty – it's a big niche of people. Yeah. But there's – but I guess there's, like, kind of a – I mean, there's so many great artists in Dallas. It's so hard to pinpoint anything. Right. So, but, I mean, yeah, if you get a chance to work with any of them, that's – I mean, it's great. Right. Great Helpful. experience. Yeah. Learn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the biggest challenge for artists in Dallas? I think themselves. Really? Yeah. I think a lot of times we were worse enemies, to be honest. 
Yeah. Cause there's a lot of like venues and stuff now. Um, I wasn't really like super aware of all of them, but talking to different people, like you just hear about different, you know, and artists who are willing to, you know, take, I teach an art class of like young, young whippersnappers No, And you know, like um, they, they have questions like, where can we go to, you know, to show their work. Yeah. Like uh, white rock Lake, deep Elm, yeah. uh, mesquite, uh, yeah. Bishop arts, you know, there's yeah, a lot of, pl- there's, I mean, there's a lot more places than I think there used to be Yeah, like three or four years ago. Right. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think like knowing where to go and being willing to network and stuff is probably, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get this lined out. (laughs) Yeah, it's probably a big thing. Um, So you passed on your love of art to your kids. Like how, how crazy awesome is that for you? It's weird. It's weird. Is it? Well, it's not weird, but it's, 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 uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. My head's on there. Good. Um, it's it's exciting. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. To see to see uh my oldest to go off to school and do what she wants to do and wants to become a tattoo artist. She wants to get into art therapy. You know. Her art. She's is all. Wonderful. Oh, she's amazing. If I was close as that good, I mean, I I can't yeah. wait until she gets older. Right. And the stuff she's going to create is going to be crazy. Yeah. My youngest is into like photography and music. She does spray painting with me every once in a while, which is su- super cool to right. go out there. She'll do a lot of stencil work with me, which is nice. Yeah. But, but she's more of the uh, visionary with the eye and she yeah. loves to read. So yeah, it is neat to see them follow your footsteps. I've never pushed them toward it, but it is cool to see them soak right. it in and use their own mind to create things. Yeah. Just being around it, just, you know, inspired them probably, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So tell me about legendary arts. Like, what is, what is it? (laughs) It's me. It's the art. Legendary arts. That's what it is. It was just a joke at first. Um, I can't even remember where I got it from. How I Met Your Mother. Totally took off. <laughs> yeah, you know how, how You Met Your Mother? He'd always go legendary. Yeah. And that's, I just added art at the end of it. <laughs> and it was an inside joke between my daughters and I. That's how it started yeah. off. That's sweet. <laughs> and then turned into something bigger, which right. is kind of neat. It's been very cool. Yeah, totally. So your studio, um, yeah, tell me, tell me what's going on there. Well, I just recently got rid of it because of the corona, but right. um, I did have it for a year, and it was it was incredible over there. Um, had a lot of great models come in. I had a lot of great artists come in, right. and toward the end, since couldn't go see any concerts, I would bring DJs in and let them perform live while I painted, That's and I awesome. had several several great. DJs in there and I think one's streaming tomorrow from um, a recording from last couple of Fridays I guess I think yeah and you can find that on my page I posted it earlier today so. yeah that sounds awesome so do you what did you do in there like for yourself is that just like that was your spot to like create or it was it, it was all free for all it was yeah. nice yeah it would be nice to wake up or two in the morning and just start going at something oh yeah which was nice and all the free space I had it was so open I loved it definitely miss it but it was totally it was fun why I had why I lasted maybe yeah. soon another one when things yeah. calm down yeah it's kind of crazy out there but it sounds like it was like a good space and a good experience for you yeah it was the best space so what is your favorite way to create art Music. Really? Just, yeah, just let the music take me. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you hope to achieve in the next five, ten years? Hmm. I guess just keep keep 
taking the journey, see where it goes. I don't think I really have a goal or you can. It's like a never ending story, really. Right. Yeah. So I saw on your Facebook that you travel often. Um, is that, well, you did before all this, I mean. <laughs> Um, is that something that like inspired you or is it more like taking a break from like the work of being creative or? No, I think it was a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. Just another part of me that liked to travel and yeah. check out places, but it was cool. A lot of places we did go, uh, we did see a lot of art and talk to a lot of artists, which is nice. Yeah, definitely. So how has, I know we've talked a little bit about it, but how has the pandemic affected you, affected you like creatively? How has it changed everything? Definitely has given me more time to work on stuff and create and step back and think about things. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working from home still. So, you know, that's, that gives me a lot of free time, you know, get yeah. stuff done that I need to and then I can just move on to my artwork which that part's been cool very yeah. cool get try new stuff stick with things longer it's incredible just being at home for this period of time and how much I've accomplished right that's awesome yeah it is so what all are you working on now now actually I'm collaborating with the magazine Lone Star magazine and I am collaborating with the doctor and educator on a children's book for minorities that is awesome yeah it's very cool and hopefully it's going to be a series that will talk about different cultures and oh. how they'll see themselves that sounds so cool yeah so you're like illustrating for it yes i am wow. i'm doing all the artwork for it and oh. can't talk too much detail into it but it should be an amazing book like yeah. actually all his series from what I've read. So that's awesome. Well, when, whenever it comes out or whatever, let me know and we'll post it on the page. Most that's definitely. Awesome. He would love that. Yes. That sounds really cool. And you're still just creating like, other than that, you just create for yourself and for your to sell and stuff, you know, most right. of the time, basically I usually just create for myself. Really? Yeah, and then it usually, you know, people are very generous and want to buy it. So right. I've been very fortunate in that aspect of the yeah. arts. Well, it's good. All of it's good. I mean. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me a story, any story. <laughs> a story? I don't know if I have any stories um, besides, I don't know. I can tell you some stories from work. What I do is a. Uh, uh, medical legal stuff. So I work for attorneys all over the United States. And the group of guys I work with, basically, we recreate car accidents, uh, surgeries that go wrong. Wow. So we get a lot. It's I mean, it's different every day. So it's it could be anything from somebody putting their leg into a tree shredder, and it just turns their leg into meat to somebody trying to commit suicide and messes up and ends up suing the doctor because the guy doesn't ha have a his speech has a speech impediment now so i work on cases like that so we get some crazy stories yeah not not too many i can go go into detail with but i've been in the in the field so long sometimes when i'm at dinner or with friends i start talking about it or sometimes I'll, i might send them small drafts of my drawings and yeah. little pieces and they you know they're no always buying information just... yeah yeah they're just like please stop don't do that again <laughs> so because some of the stuff is pretty graphic it's crazy yeah. graphic it sounds a little so, dark <laughs> it's very dark and yeah. most of the stuff is all medical and hipaa so i can't post it on right on on any of my stuff and that's right. probably why you guys see like hardly any of my illustrations that i would do yeah. Plus, it's not something I don't think you guys would really enjoy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the leg shredded. Yeah. Like, we do animations and interactives, which those are fun. Are and they? So, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're just kind of neat to put together. I yeah. enjoy that kind of stuff. Kind of nerdy that way. Yeah. So you can do animations also. See, that's something. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I went to, I took a class Maya that a group of guys from Disney came down and taught us, which was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. That sounds awesome. So I do like, I can do animations. I've done a interactives. So. It's pretty impressive. It's like all the things. <laughs> I get bored. Have you ever thought about teaching? <laughs> I did. You know, I had some students for a while. Did you? I, I think I had like four total a couple years ago, which they did very well. One was actually overseas in India, and she did amazing. Wow. And, of course, most of the students I've taught already knew something. They just wanted tips and fine craft what they're already doing right so yeah. and i don't know if i i don't know if i could teach somebody from scratch right that would be going back pretty I'd, yeah i'd probably teach them bad habits because i definitely <laughs> well you know my daughter she, when she was in a uh, high school the teachers were like you don't you can't do it like that and uh, she goes that's how my father does it and he's a way better artist than you you know, she'd make comments like that. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> Burned. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do you, I was like, damn, just follow what they say, please. Right. Don't get you in trouble. <laughs> That's Basically. Awesome. Yeah. I did get um, to go talk to a lot of schools about my career and art. I think for my daughter's AP class, I got to kind of kind of the interview saying, talk about what I'm doing. And basically it was to present to the parents that art isn't like going to be broke. Your child's yeah. not going to be broke. Right. There's so many different fields you can go into in art. It's crazy. Right. Sculpturing, animation, graphic design, illustration, painting, murals. I mean, logos. It's just a never ending story, really. Yeah. Wherever you end up taking it, you know, there's money to be made. If you work hard. Definitely can make a career at it. Yeah what so okay. parents out there encourage your kids yeah definitely what about um this so you work with the, you said it was dark it, i mean are you like good at dealing with stuff like that or is it does it ever like take a toll on you uh no i think i've done done it for a while that you kind of get dead to it right you know i i mean I don't know how much, I guess there's a dark side to it. I think at the beginning, seeing faces mm -hmm. of the clients and the names, and some of them, of course, you know, don't survive, unfortunately. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, I guess there is a dark side that could affect you. But after a while, you get used to it. Right. I think you learn how to cope with it. Right. Compartmentalize it <laughs> into something. Yeah, probably that, more or less. And just yeah. paint harder. Right. <laughs> tune it out. Tune it out. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, so who were some influential people in your life or like artists that you looked up to? I don't know mm -hmm. if I ever did. I never yeah. growing up. I really didn't want to study too many artists because I wanted to do my own thing. Right. I don't think mm -hmm. I started looking at Jackson Pollock or anybody else until I think my mid 30s. I try to stay away from a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that uh, in a way that's good because, you know, you weren't like. In a way, but you lose so much by not like trying to study somebody else's work. Right. Ups and downs, positives and negatives. <laughs> <laughs> True. Lots yeah. of those. Not really, I guess. There's, I don't think like in the art, my part of the art world or where I've been, it hasn't been any downs. Wow. It's been like a, a very gradual, and most of my friends that know me could tell you, it's just been, it's continued going up and it's been really a great ride so far. I've had a lot of great people that have supported me, right. like Preston and Adrian, um, a lot of my friends. So it's been really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah, a good like support. especially like the Arco. Yeah, I love going down there. I have like free range to go back there and paint all the time, so it's kind of nice. Even yeah. with the even with the shutdown, I've been able to go paint in the yard by myself. Right, that's so good. Having that's been seat. yeah, that's been really cool with the uh, John and Carrie Larue that own it. So, yeah. 
Thanks, Arco. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so you seem pretty upbeat. Do you think, like, that has... That's maybe... just the Bloody Mary. Oh, okay. I was going to say... No, maybe just kidding. <laughs> totally reading you wrong. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're, like, just dark and brooding. But, you know... Um, do you think that had like an effect on the way, like when you have to meet people and you have to, you know, like, I think you have to. Yeah. I used to, I was quiet. Like I don't paint with many people. It's hard for me to paint around people. Uh, mainly just want to keep my headphones on and be left alone. Right. But I mean, the interacting and all that, you have to do it. Yeah. You really do. I mean, it's hard not to sell something and not talk to somebody about it. I know. I feel you know, like when, that's probably like a a very, very hard thing for some people to do, you know. Like, it is, even for me still. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's sometimes people ask you questions. You're like, I, yeah, that's not what I was thinking when I painted it. But, yeah, I could see that, <laughs> you know. Go along with it. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes, like when you paint something, there is no meaning behind it right you weren't thinking of some deep song or right. theory or the end of the world or your love life <laughs> you're just painting to be free yeah god forbid someone ask what's what's the meaning behind this <laughs> well <laughs> that was yeah. bored <laughs> right i wanted to get it done yeah that's so cool that's awesome i'm glad that you like have had a upward trajectory and ha seem to have had like a really good experience with everything we love I really have a uh, I don't I don't know like just been very fortunate yeah like my whole life which is you know knock on wood do you continues. feel like you work really hard no <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say that no it's I mean honestly it's just I don't know. Talk to my friends. They'll tell you. It's just weird. <laughs> very strange. I don't know if I'm just connected with the universe, but stuff falls in my lap very easily. I don't, I just, and like I said, I'm very generous and yeah. I'll support whoever in the art world. And you can, yeah. you know, my friends can detest to that. So, but it's, it's, you know, I try to give back what's given to me as well. Pass it on. I'm sure that, you know, comes back in the karmic circle, you know. I mean, if you Seems believe in something. <laughs> <laughs> One way or the other, yeah. Um, so at the end of in the interview, I usually play a game. Um, this one is, are you ready to play? I guess. I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I was not excited. <laughs> Um, so it's called taboo and it basically works like I have a category and then they also give me five words that I can't say, but I'm trying to get you to guess the one word. And does that make sense? Kind of, maybe. Okay, we'll give it a go. And if it doesn't make sense, I'll try better to explain it. <laughs> okay. Um, are you ready? I think so. Okay. Um, a road where you have to give money. Um, tollway. Yes, you got this. <laughs> okay. Let's see. A place where creatures are kept, um, behind fence like. A zoo. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Um, the thing that you do on your um, Apple or Android, but nobody really likes to do it. They would much rather text. Phone call? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a type of fishing, um, but it can also be an insect. I think that's an insect, yeah. Um, it has wings. It's annoying. Fly fishing? Uh, yeah, fly, yeah. Um, you can have avocado or cheese or bean or there's also a song from like the 90s that was like, I put my hand up on your hip. 
I don't know that one. Okay, avocado. Uh, let's let's go this way then. Avocado, bean, cheese, burrito, uh, French onion. Oh, it's not food, is it? What was it? Wait, wait what was the question? <laughs> it's a type of food. It is a type. Oh, of it's food. a type of food. Yeah. Um. What else? Dip. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's see. This is the person who serves you when you go to a. Oh, I can't use the word. Um. They stand behind a a thing. Bar tender. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh, this one's hard. So. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick a different one because it's too hard. Uh, so this is a celestial body that, nope. Um, you can see it from Earth um, at the time that is not day. Uh, it reflects, I mean, the, the mm, can't say that either. <sighs> Jupiter has many of these. I think it's Jupiter. Man, I could be oceans. Wrong. It's it's out in the in the space. Is it Jupiter? Maybe maybe it doesn't. Man, I could just be totally messing up. Is it the it's aurora? Round. It's round. It's round. You can see it with a telescope. People have walked on it. The moon? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> um, I thought that was see. done in Disney. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, okay. Um, so this t this is a time of year. Um, it is when things are ready to be ooh, um, collected and saved for winter um it's also a phase of the thing that we just talked about or like a i don't know if phase is the right word um <laughs> man i'm not good at this uh let's see um do you know any neil young songs no. <laughs> um let's see Man, I can't. Uh, it's where you go out and like collect plants for winter. Harvest? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably an easier way for me to get there. I'm Is sorry. Is today like the harvest moon or something or full moon? I think or something? it's a full moon for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because all the critters were out last night about three o'clock. Oh, that's fine. There's a possum crossing my fence, a uh, raccoon in the tree watching me, and a giant bat flying around, and owls that. howling like monkeys. That is kind of scary. It was <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> right. At that time, you're already kind of out of it, and then to have all the No, I was just like going, what is going on? It felt like... <laughs> To like Cinderella or something. <laughs> you walked outside and called all the creatures of the night. It was. It's like as soon as I walked out, I was like, I was like, there's a raccoon and a possum, and I hear owls, and then this bat starts flying around me. I'm like, all right, I'm going back in. <laughs> You're the Halloween Snow White. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let me see. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the opposite of being like brave and um coward forward and oh. um there's just words i can't say that would really help <laughs> um if you sometimes kids are like this like little kids like if you talk to them and they like are too aggressive <laughs> no. punks punks uh like the opposite, like the opposite of aggressive. Um, the opposite of like 
the opposite of like friendly and bratty. Mm, this is not going well. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. It's pretty entertaining now. Oh yeah, to watch me like totally <laughs> screw it up. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, mild, um, mild, that was terrible, but I can't say the other word. Um, like if you're like, like, like tee hee. Um. <laughs> Bratty? No. Spoiled? Uh, no. Should I just start name? Am I close? No, other oh, way. Okay. <laughs> not spoiled? Not spoiled, not bratty, real, like, soft spoken, um, not shy. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Uh, Everest is one of these. Um, Fuji is one of these. You, Fuji, yeah. Um, it is a land form. Um, it is tall. Kilimanjaro? There's a, it's not specific. Oh. But yes, but it's just not that specific. I don't know then. Uh. You do. <laughs> um, not a hill, but a. Mountain? Yes. <laughs> okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> um, so you mm, so you create these when um, there is cold precipitation that accumulates on the ground, and they are the form of a um, of a character. Um, and there's like, sometimes you use like three balls and stack them and you can use a carrot and some snow. Oh, snowman. Yes. Snow. I was thinking snow. Yes. Yes. I couldn't say frosty, abominable, build, winter, or make. <laughs> I was kind of screwed. <laughs> Um, so this is a way to create um, art um, with a, you can use a pencil and paper. Uh, you can have a collection of paper. Um, <laughs> it's usually, not usually, sometimes it's like quick like quicker, like a quicker way to do it? Uh, is it like tracing? I mean, you can, but that's not the word that I'm looking for. Um, let's see. It's paper. You said it was paper? Yeah, paper and like pen or pencil. Um, I mean, it's not like, let me see. Is it? It's a verb. Um, let me think. It's just, it's it's a step above doodling. Sketching? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I know it can be like really intricate and detailed. I was just going for the general. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have three left. Let's do it. Um, Let's see, let's see. Uh, a place where there are arrivals, departures. Airport. Uh, yes. Yes. I know. <laughs> Nailed that one. Um, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this happens, um, and it happens in, ooh, in your, oh, gosh. You can get one from sinuses, from allergies, from a fever. Um, it's from like swelling in your, I can't say the word. Um, sometimes it's like on your, oh my God, I can't say any of the words I need to say. 
It is an ailment. Um, and you can take Tylenol, ibuprofen, oh. um, Aleve. Headache? Yes. Okay. All right, last one. <laughs> that one's kind of hard. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really bad at this. Normally, it wouldn't be hard. <laughs> I mean, you can't be that bad if I'm guessing them so far. I think you're just, you're just, you're in the zone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, okay. Um, so, Dallas is an example of this. Um, Shreveport, Hot Springs, uh, Tulsa, yes. Yeah, <laughs> woohoo! That's, That's awesome. All right, let me see. Okay, so we're looking forward to the children's book. Um, we can find your work at Legendary Arts on Instagram. Where else are you? Uh, Facebook right now, working on the pay, uh, web page okay. as we speak. So they'll be coming out soon. But yeah, keep an eye on the children's book. Um, I have two murals actually coming up, one mm -hmm. at the hideaway and another one at, man, I can't remember the other name of it, the bar. It's off Greenville. Oh, um, really? Yeah. And I think it's Austin Avenue bar. I think, I, that's what, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, keep an eye on the co collaboration too with Lone Star Magazine. Yeah, definitely. And whenever this stuff is released, um, I'll I'll pay attention to your Facebook and stuff and your Instagram, and I'll link stuff to you. Perfect. That'll be thank great. Thank you so so much for hey, coming out and talking to me tonight and letting me ask you ridiculous questions. Always good. <laughs> Always good. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Everybody. Have a good night. You too. Bye.